Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Eversoft scarf. Now this scarf can be made three different ways. You can leave it plain, you can add fringe, or you can join the first row to the last row and make it into an infinity scarf. Now I made this a free pattern so I'll put the link in the description box underneath the video. Now before I give you the material list, I just want everyone to know that when I made this scarf, I used two skeins of yarn and I only had just a couple inches of yarn left over when I made this project. Now this scarf, if you want to make it bigger, then you're definitely going to have to buy an extra skein of yarn. And if you want to make it wider, then you would use the stitch multiple of two plus three. This is such a quick and easy design. I'm using a two double crochet V stitch and all we're doing is double crocheting right in between the two double crochets, right between the two posts. We're not chaining one. We're making this a nice tight V stitch. It has a beautiful look and with this yarn, it creates different types of patterns as you're crocheting. So your scarf might have a completely different look. Now at the bottom of the scarf, you can see it works in columns and then it comes up and it starts changing over to a crisscross design. And then it goes back up here and creates even more designs. Now I have this scarf folded in too because it's pretty long. And again, this is the beautiful stitch pattern that we're going to be doing today. So for the project, I only purchased two skeins, so I had to stop before I finished the scarf so you could see the yarn I was using. So sorry it's not a full skein, but for this project, you're going to need two skeins of the Premier Eversoft in the multi, or you can use a solid color or whichever color way you prefer to make this scarf. The multicolor Eversoft comes in a 207 yard skein, 190 meters, 4 ounces, and 113 grams. It's a 100% acrylic yarn and it is so very, very soft. It has a beautiful sheen to it, soft to the touch. And I'm using color number 2061-09, the Purple Mist. And again, they have many beautiful colorways. And I'll put a special link that you can click that link and view all the different colorways. Now what's nice is this yarn is machine wash warm, tumble dry low. It's a number four medium weight yarn. It also has been tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. So you know that this yarn is wonderful for even the most delicate of skin. So again, two skeins of the Premier Eversoft in the color of your choice, or again, I'm using Purple Mist color number 2061-09. You're also going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get this project started. I already have my yarn attached to my hook, and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. We're going to begin our project in chain 29. You're going to yarn over the hook, pull through the loop on your hook. This creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have 29 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back, I have my chain with 29 chains and now we're ready to begin row one. For row one, you're going to skip the first four chain, one, two, three, and four, and we're going to work two double crochet into the fifth chain from hook. Yarn over, insert into the fifth chain, yarn over, and pull back through that chain. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You made your first double crochet. Double crochet back into that same chain. Thank you. 
your first set of two double crochet is made. The beginning chain four that you skipped will count as a double crochet plus a chain one. So now we're going to start the repeat. You're going to skip the next chain, work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple pattern. Let's do the repeat again. Skip the next chain and work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. Let's do it again. Skip the next chain, work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. Let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to skip the next chain and work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Skip the next chain and work two double crochet into the next chain. Skip the next chain, two double crochet into the next chain. You're going to work that across and stop at the very last two stitches and I'll meet you at the last two stitches of row one. I'm over to my last two chains. Again, you work the repeat across until two chains remain. To end the row, we're going to skip the next chain and we're going to work just one double crochet into that ending chain. So when you look at your work again, you're going to have that skip four chain, which counted as the first double crochet and a chain one. So if you're new to crocheting and you have trouble with your ends, go ahead and place a stitch marker right into the top of that turning chain here where we started at the beginning of the row. And that will tell you what is your last stitch when you come back across. And then you want to come over and put a stitch marker in your very last stitch you made, which will tell you this is the first stitch of the next row. So row one is finished. This is what your work should look like. So now we're ready to start row two. Now row two is our repeat row. This is a one row repeat. Row one is our base row. Row two will be your repeat row. To begin row two, you're going to chain two one and two. You're going to turn your work. Now this beginning chain two is going to count as my first double crochet. Now with this pattern when I chain three it left a gap and it made my edges look really lumpy. So I cut it down to a chain two which give me really pretty straight edges. So let's go ahead and start our repeat. Again the beginning chain two counts as this first stitch. To work the pattern, we're going to be working two double crochet into the center of each two double crochet group. So let me take my hook out and let me hold this so you can see it. When you look at your work, you're going to see a set of two stitches, a set of two stitches, a set of two stitches. We're going to be working row two by working two double crochet right into the center of those two stitches right between the post. We're going to be working right into the center of those two double crochet stitches, which creates a V stitch look. It creates a tighter crocheted look to a V stitch. So let's go ahead and do our repeat. You're going to work two double crochet into the center of the first two double crochet group. So this is our first two double crochet group and we're going right in between those stitches, right between the post, 
work two double crochet. One, and two. Find your next two double crochet group. Work two double crochet right into the center of that two double crochet group by going right down in the center between the post of those stitches. Work two double crochet. One, and two. Let's do it again. Find your next two double crochet group. Work two double crochet right in between those two stitches, right between the post, and work two double crochet. One, and two. Find your next two double crochet group. Work two double crochet right into the center of that two double crochet group and work your two double crochet. One and two. So go ahead and continue and work two double crochet into the center of each two double crochet group across to your ending chain and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row two. I'm over at my ending turning chain. This is what your work looks like so far, and you should have worked two double crochet right in the center of each two double crochet group across until you get to your ending turning chain. Now, if you placed your stitch markers, your stitch marker should be right here in the top chain of that turning chain. We're going to end the row with one double crochet into the top of the ending turning chain. Yarn over, insert into the top of that turning chain, work one double crochet. So row two is finished and row two is the repeat row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and work row two again right along with you but at a little bit faster pace. So let's go ahead and repeat row two again. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. The beginning chain two acts as the first stitch. We're going to be working two double crochet in the center of each two double crochet group across to your ending turning chain. Yarn over, insert in the center of the first two double crochet group, work two double crochet. One. And two. Find your next two double crochet group. Work two double crochet right into the center of that group of stitches. And you're working right in the center of the post of those stitches. Find your next two double crochet group. Work two double crochet in between those two stitches. One. And two. Two double crochet in the center of the next two double crochet group. One and two. Again, two double crochet in the center of the next two double crochet group right between those two stitches. Work two double crochet. One and two. Two double crochet in the center of the next two double crochet group. One and two. And we're going to continue. Two double crochet into the center of the next two double crochet group. Two double crochet into the center of the next two double crochet group. Two double crochet in the center of the next two double crochet group. Two 
and we're almost to the end. Two double crochet into the center of the next two double crochet group. One and two. Two double crochet into the center of the next two double crochet group. And I know I'm repeating myself quite a bit, but this is how you learn with repetition. And we're over at our last two double crochet group. So you're going to work two double crochet right into the center of that last two double crochet group. One. And two. Then if you moved your stitch markers up, you should have a stitch marker right into the top of this ending turning chain two. You're going to work one double crochet right into the top of that turning chain. And your row is finished. So go ahead and continue. If you need help, click back on the video. You're going to repeat row two until you have a total of 145 rows and I'll meet you at the end of row 145. I'm over at the end of row 145. I worked row two until I had 145 complete rows. When you get to the end of row 145, we're just going to go ahead and fasten off our work. When I fasten off, I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So this is what our scarf looks like so far. It just has a beautiful stitch pattern. It just creates different types of coloration with this multicolored yarn with this stitch pattern and you may get a completely different look to your scarf. So now at this point you have to decide what you want to do. Do you want to keep your scarf plain and just keep it 60 inches? Then you would just weave in your ends. If you want to make an infinity scarf then what you would do is you would slip stitch your last row to the first row of the scarf. You would put the right sides together and slip stitch across the wrong sides and just slip stitch this across and you can make an infinity scarf. Now what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of yarn left over so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of fringe on my scarf. So I'll be back and I'll show you how to put fringe on your scarf. So if you want to put fringe on the end of your scarf you need to cut 140 pieces of fringe 13 inches long. So what I'm doing is I'm using five pieces at a time and I fold them in half and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our fringe between the first stitch and the first two double crochet group. So I'm just going to hold it up here and what we're going to do is we're going to go in between the first stitch and the first group and then we're going to put fringe in the center of each two double crochet group across and we're going to end with a set of fringe between the last stitch and the last two double crochet group. So you're going to insert your hook between the first stitch and the first two double crochet group. You're going to take five pieces of fringe, fold it in half, stick your hook right into the center and then pull it through that space. And you want to pull up a loop. Now mine got twisted a little bit. And then you can use your fingers, just reach in, grab that yarn, and pull it through. And then you just want to pull and tighten that up. Now you want to make sure that your scarf is right side facing. So now I'm going to grab five more pieces of fringe. And I try to make sure my ends are straight. And you can always trim your fringe after you attach it to your scarf. Fold it in half. And then I just bring my fingers up so there's a loop there. Insert between the first two double crochet group, right between those two stitches. 
put your hook in there and pull it through that space pull up a loop and then again you can stick your fingers right into the center of that loop grab the end of the fringe pull it through and then just tighten it up and that's how you attach your fringe and you may want to just go back and just tighten them up again so I'll show you one more time you're going to grab five more pieces of yarn so that is only four I need one more and then I fold it in half and then I just bring my fingers up so there's a loop there and pinch it with your fingers to hold that loop in place then you're going to insert your hook in between the next two double crochet group so come down find your next two double crochet group insert your hook and then put your hook right into the center of that loop of your fringe and pull it through then pull up another loop put your fingers in the center grab the end of the fringe pull it through and then just tighten it up and if some of them don't tighten up grab that color and you can just pull on the single strains and make that nice and tight and I'm going to do the same thing over here where I see it's not as tight as I would like so I'm just going to tighten up some of those strands of yarn and that is how you put your fringe on your scarf so go ahead and continue you're going to take five pieces of fringe and knot between each two double crochet group and then you're going to end between the last two double crochet group and the ending stitch once you get this end done then make sure your scarf is right side facing and do it to the other end of your scarf I'm going to finish my fringe and I'll be back and show you the finished scarf so our scarf is finished I have the fringe on both ends of my scarf now it's pretty long to get the whole thing in the video but it's just a beautiful scarf it works up quickly and if you like to make scarves to donate this is going to become your favorite pattern because it does work up so quickly again you can put the fringe on you can leave the fringe off or you can slip stitch row one to the last row and make a beautiful infinity scarf I hope you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial for the ever soft scarf and this is a free pattern and I'll have the link in the description box underneath the video so make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at creative grandma's channel so until next time happy crocheting everyone